So you might be trying to figure out how you can export your text messages on your iPhone. Now, there's not really a simple way of doing this, unfortunately. On an iPhone, it's pretty hard. The only way I've been able to actually find a way to do this is by using one of the applications on the App Store. So essentially what the process is, and I'm just going to tell you now, we're going to be taking screenshots of our messages and stitching them together in order to make it look like it's one long message and it's basically like an export. So essentially what this process is, we want to make our way over to our app store and you want to go and type in export messages. Now there's a few applications that can do this. What I did is I went ahead and used the first one, which is just as messages and SMS export. But there's also these other ones that you can check out. In this case, I just downloaded this one. It seems to be the one that is kind of self-explanatory. Now, when you download this one, there's once you actually install it and you give it access to your photos, there's a few things you can do. So for one, you can either you know record your messages just like this, or you can stitch your messages together and you can export it as a PDF. So if you want to do it this method, what I'd recommend doing is number one, download that application. Number two, make your way over to your messages, your iMessage application, and you want to find the message chat that you actually want to go ahead and export. So in this case, I'll go and take a screenshot of this specific one, and I'll go and take another screenshot of like the bottom half. So like this one, for example. So now what we can do is basically I have two screenshots. I can then make my way over back into that application, and you want to take as many screenshots as you want. You can just you know keep screenshotting wherever we want to. And then what you want to do is you want to click on Stitch Messages. Now here it's going to tell you if you want to watch a tutorial. In this case, I'm just going to import my screenshots at the bottom. And then I can go and select the two screenshots that I just selected. So the ones I just did, I can choose both of them there. I can go and click Select. Now as you can see, it's going to go ahead and basically analyze, I guess, both these screenshots. I don't know what that's doing. So it's converting that to a PDF, it looks like. And then it's going to convert this one to a PDF. So here what we can do is we can select the specific portion of the message that we want to keep. So I'll go and keep the top half of this one, just like this. And I'll go and keep the bottom half. Actually, I'll just go and cut this message. Actually, I could probably keep it like this. So I can keep that one. I can go and click cut. And then with the bottom one, I can go and choose exactly where I want to leave it left off. So here I left this one off just right, like right there. And I want the rest of this message just like this. So now what I can do is I can go and click cut. And you can see this is basically what the full message is going to look like. So you can see I have this full message that I can just export right here. So now I can, I can, what I can do is I can click convert to PDF. And I can name it whatever. So in this case, I'll just name it whatever. Create PDF. And then it's going to allow me to you know, use this PDF. I can go and select it. I can go and click export at the bottom. And I can export as a photo or PDF, which is going to be one long page. And then I can go and save it. So here I'm going to save it to my files application. I can save it right in my downloads folder. I can click save and watch what happens. Now, I think once it's exported, I can make my way over back into my files application. And then I will basically be able to see that file somewhere under my downloads. And we can see right here, it is right here. So this file can technically be exported just like so. And actually turned out very well. So, and you can export, you can, you know, delete the bottom half if you want to. But, and that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.